uh, he met Mulana uh, Ilyas Rahmatullah Alayhi. I think uh, there's quite a bit of few points that I would try to uh, bring in to make it easy for the viewers uh, to understand. So part of Mulana Abdullah Rahmatullah's works was because we understand that he was 10 years older than Mulana Ilyas Rahmatullah Alayhi. And uh, Mulana uh, Abdullah and, was a great and, scholar. And when you say that, I think we have to reiterate Mulana Ilyas Rahmatullah Alayhi who was known as the founder of the Tablik Jamaat. So your grand, great grandfather was 10 years older than him. And yes, now correct. the story continues. Good. This is very interesting. Sorry? Molana, you know, a lot of people don't know this. I, I, I have no clue of this connection that your great grandfather had. And I think this is going to be very educational, very educational for our viewers worldwide uh, and especially the tablik brothers uh, the public jamaat inshallah yes uh, is, is the reason when this interview was presented i i i first thought about it and then i i took mashara from one two of my seniors and i said this will be the benefit of of, of this interview you know and and uh, these incidents have been written in two or three books inshallah i would share those links also with uh, with chef inshallah okay so nevertheless Nevertheless, uh, Mulan Abdullah Rahmatullah, part of his works was to call the people to Tawheed. Because in Mewat, there was a lot of customs at the time. A lot of customs, a lot of shirk. To the extent, to the extent, this is a, a known fact in history, and it's written in the books. Mulan Abdullah Rahmatullah is uh, one of his followers had actually become a shaheed, a martyr. He was actually killed by their very own people. This is how hard uh, the people were uh, in their customs. So when you would call the people to the deed, uh, because one of the customs in Mewat is a person from the village, he cannot marry a girl from the same village, and a person cannot marry his cousin. So Mulan Abdullah Rahmatullah, after going to study the deen, he came to break all these uh, customs. To the extent, one of his murids, his followers, passed away and was killed in the process. So when he came back from Deoband to, to, to Mewat, and he was known as the Mufti Adam of Mewat, he was known at that time, he started the Tazkiyatul Nafs, self-purification, Tasawwuf in, in Mewat. So we had Tazkiyah taking place in Mewat already before the time of Tabligh. So when the work of Tabligh started, and obviously Mahabdullah Abdullah Rahmatullah being a senior uh, scholar uh, in Mewat, that is why Mulana Yusuf Rahimahullah, Mulana Inamul Hassan, uh, 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 right down till, till today, currently, uh, our family and the Kandlawi family is very close. And, and um, that is why, uh, Sheikh, as we go along in the interview, I'll explain to you from my mother's side as well, where they close to Sheikh Zakaria Rahimahullah. So, um, coming back to the point, uh, Mulana Ilyas Rahmatullah, when he started the work of Tabligh, when he would pass through Mewat, he would come to our village known as Malpuri. So on many occasions, Molana Ilyas Rahmatullah came to, uh, to, to Malpuri. And uh, he would take Mashora from Molana Abdullah Rahmatullah Alay as to how should the work start. That is why it is documented in a known fact. The first person to tell the brothers in Tablik that you must take your own... Uh, we call it in South Africa that the term that they use here is patkos. When you say take your own food, apna bister, apna kana, take your own food and your, your, your own pot and your own clothes with you when you go out. Uh, he was the first person to initiate this in the work of Tablik. So to repeat, and, your grandfather, and, um, your grandfather was the person who recommended to Maulana Ilyas Rahmatullah uh, when the founder of Tablik, and I, I, I want to get these points for our viewers to understand. Your grandfather, Mufti Abdullah Sahib, he um, recommended to Maulana Ilya Sahib, the founder of Tablik Jamaat, that um, people should take their own food and their own um, sleeping bags, etc., when they go out in Tablik Jamaat. This True. is interesting. Uh, I love to know that Correct. we are connecting Correct. to the great grandson of Correct. the of that person who initiated this idea for Tablik Jamaat. Subhanallah. Mashallah. 